this little fly, <clears throat> um, my mate used to fish these up in Scotland. Uh, we used to have this little reservoir, and one of my pals used to fish this. Um, it was just basically a gold buzzer, and obviously materials have sort of moved on, and we've got little bits and pieces that we can add to make this fly a little bit better. But it was basically a gold tinsel with a little bit of hairs here, nothing else to it. I've just added a little bit of um, new materials and a bit of glow bright just to make the fly that a little bit better. But it's an awesome fly when there's sun, um, when there's a bright sun, especially when a fish are higher up in the water. This particular fly tends to pick out um, way more fish than your standard buzzer pattern. So let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing I do is I start with a this is a Kamazan B175 in the vise. And it's just plain black tie and shred, black, AO. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the thorax area. That's it. And I've got two different um, bodies here. I've got clear mylar, 14 or 12, doesn't really matter, as long as it covers it. And I've got a uni miler, gold and silver. So gold one side, silver the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a length of the clear on first because it's going to coat, it's going to coat the whole fly to give it just a little bit more duty. I mean, you can super glue it, but because there's fur and floss in there, I can't even see what I'm doing. Because there's a little bit of, Far and floss in there, I just prefer that. So that's my length of that. The clear miler, and then I take the the silver and gold. And typically I've lost an end here, so I'm gonna quick snip that. So you'll see I've got one side silver, and I turn that around, and the other side is gold. So it's gold side up we're wanting. So we tie this in and then just come down the body to the end of the, the hook shine just as it starts to turn the corner on the bend of the hook and then back up. You didn't really need to be neat because this is all getting covered up. And then <clears throat> one thing I do a lot when I'm tying flies, especially when I'm doing ribs or anything like that, stick a whip finish in. So, this one now, our gold, we're going to come up body and overlapping, touching turns. And like I say, this fly, particularly when the sun's on water, always do really well with gold, golds and reds and oranges when the sun's high um, and it's bright. So there you go, that's our gold body, which is the original fly. And now <clears throat> we've got this clear miler, which we're going to cut. You kind of stick varnishing underneath it, but to be honest, when this is wound on tight, I feel that you don't need it. It's uh, pretty solid to say the least. So that's my clear miler. So what I've done is I've created an underbody <coughs> with the gold and I've secured the clear over the top just to make it that bit stronger. Again, sticking a wet finish. And I've got a glow bright number five here. We didn't want too much of this. So what I'll do is I'll take a length. This is probably about a foot. Double it over. Double it over again so I've got four. And double it over again so I've got eight. And we've got to tie that in. So it's on either side of the hook shank. And you want it on the side. So just make sure when you're tying it in. It's on the side there. Four on one side and four on the other. Usually I tie it a little bit longer so I can keep a hold of both sections. I'll do one and I'll do the other. So you've got one at one side and one at the other, like so. Couple more wraps in with your scissors. Cut that at an angle, nice, neat and tidy. I'm just going to cover this whole area, cover that whole area 
and then back up to the eye in a little bit of space. <clears throat> I've then got this stuff, stickle dub. This is natural. And I've got a little thin thorax. So just dub that on. You'll know when you've tied a few of these how much is enough. Um, you know enough a lot actually. About an inch worth of dubbing. It's about an inch worth of dubbing there. And you just get a work back from the eye. Like so. And then come through the, the dubbing to the eye and tidy that up with some thread wraps. Then we have a finishing tool, small compact head and then tie off. Now with these breathers you don't want them too long, you want them short. So about half the thorax on that side turn this half the thorax on that side so you've got little short stubby breathers my last bit of the fly is just coming in and pulling some of the fibers out with a little bit of velcro little golden buzzer And I'm just a tiny little bit of varnish just to finish the fly off on either side. And there he is. And a tiny little bit of tag thread there, haven't I? I can see it. And that's him. That's your little golden olive. Golden olive, sorry. Golden buzzer. Just an awesome fly to be fishing. Um, when there's sun in the water and the fish are on buzzers, I can highly recommend it. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Plenty more fly fishing and fly tying videos. Take care and bye-bye.